every legendary hacker starts with a choice. Not a choice between tools or targets, but a choice to understand the code that powers it all. The truth is, you can't become a feared, respected, or even skilled hacker if you don't learn to code. Programming is more than typing words into a terminal. It's the language of the digital world. The secret weapon that lets hackers move silently, strike precisely, and disappear without a trace. If you truly want to become dangerous in this game, then your journey begins with programming. The first step, choosing the right language. This decision sets the tone for your entire path forward. Start with Python. It's hands down the best language for beginners in cybersecurity. Why? Because it's readable, powerful, and used everywhere from scripting exploits to building automation tools. With Python, you can write your own port scanners, brute force attackers, vulnerability checkers, or even basic malware. It's the Swiss Army knife of hacking. Python allows you to automate recon, parse data, control tools like Nmap or Metasploit, and interact with websites using libraries like Requests or Beautiful Soup. But Python alone won't cover everything. Next, you need Bash scripting. Bash is the language of Linux, and Linux is the home of hackers. Whether you're automating tasks, chaining commands, or writing scripts to control your hacking environment, Bash is essential. With it, you'll create simple but powerful automation, like scanning networks, monitoring logs, or controlling access points. Combine Bash with tools like Cron Jobs or Netcat, and you start to unlock real system-level control. As you move into web hacking, learn JavaScript. This language runs the front end of the internet, and it's key to understanding vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting or XSS, manipulating cookies, or even building malicious payloads that execute in browsers. If you know how JavaScript works, you can manipulate DOM elements, bypass filters, and write custom scripts that exploit poorly secured web apps. For any hacker diving into bug bounty or web-based exploitation, JavaScript is non-negotiable. Bug bounty hunting isn't just about luck or stumbling on a vulnerability. The real winners in this game are hackers who combine sharp programming skills with deep curiosity. Programming transforms you from a mere bug finder into a precision attacker. Someone who can write custom tools, automate tedious tasks, and spot vulnerabilities no one else can. That's how you climb from chasing small rewards to landing those big, high-paying bugs that companies desperately want fixed. When you understand programming, you stop wasting time clicking around manually. Instead, you build scripts that crawl through thousands of pages, scan APIs, fuzz inputs, or test authentication flows in minutes, not days. Python is your best friend here. With it, you automate reconnaissance, parse responses, and even generate payloads. You become a force multiplier, increasing the volume and quality of your findings. But it doesn't stop there. As you grow, you learn to write exploit scripts that prove your bugs are real and dangerous. You can customize payloads to bypass filters, chain multiple vulnerabilities, or craft zero days. This depth of knowledge doesn't just impress bug bounty platforms. It forces companies to pay top dollar for your discoveries. Once you've got scripting under your belt, it's time to understand how systems really work. This is where C and C++ come in. These low-level languages teach you how memory is managed, how processes run, and how vulnerabilities like buffer overflows actually happen. Many real-world exploits are written in C. It's the core of operating systems, firmware, and legacy apps. By learning C, you're stepping into the world of exploit development building shellcode, writing overflow attacks, or even understanding malware internals. This is deep hacking. Not just using tools, but creating them. Want something modern and powerful. Explore Go known as Golang or Rust. These languages are now being used by advanced hackers to create custom, fast, and stealthy tools. Go is simple and excellent for writing networking utilities, bots, or scanners. Rust, on the other hand, offers memory safety without sacrificing performance. If you master these, you're already playing in the big leagues, but language alone isn't enough. You have to apply what you learn, build projects, make a keylogger in Python, write a simple port scanner from scratch, automate recon for a target site, modify open source tools and understand how they work. Practice on platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, or Vulnhub. When you start building your own tools and using them in real scenarios, something clicks you stop being a user and start becoming a developer, a hacker with real power. This journey won't be easy, 
you'll hit bugs, your code will break, you'll feel stuck. But that's part of the process. Every error teaches you. Every fix strengthens you. Over time, your mindset evolves. You stop Googling how to hack and start thinking, how can I build it myself? Programming isn't easy. It demands patience, discipline, and countless hours where nothing seems to work. You will hit walls, get frustrated, and want to quit. But here's the truth. Every master hacker, every top bug bounty hunter you admire, has been exactly where you are. The difference is they stayed. They pushed through the grind when no one was watching. That commitment to yourself and your craft is what separates the good from the great. So when the code breaks, when bugs hide deep, or when progress feels slow, remember why you started. Every error is a lesson. Every late night is a step closer to mastery. The programming journey is a test of will, and if you push through, the rewards won't just be wealth, they'll be respect that commands attention, power that opens doors, and a legacy that lasts. Stay hungry, stay curious, and most importantly, stay relentless. Because the hacker's path is never easy, but it's always worth it. In the end, it's not just about knowing a language, it's about unlocking a way of thinking, solving problems like a hacker, but building like a coder. That combination is dangerous. That combination is what makes the digital world fear you. And that combination starts right now, with your first line of code. So if you're ready to stop copying and start creating, pick a language, pick a project, and start coding your legacy today. The world fears hackers who think differently, but it respects the ones who build what others can't even understand. If you've made it this far, then you're not just watching, you're becoming. This is your path. And every line of code you write brings you one step closer to mastery. So keep learning, keep building, and most of all, stay curious because in this game, knowledge is your weapon and mindset is your armor. Smash that like button if this video lit a spark in you. Subscribe for more awesome content that sharpens your skills. Drop your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next mission.